I welcome all of you on the platform of Yourpedia Education and my this video is uh, all about postdoctorate fellowship. Let me tell you postdoctorate fellowship is the epitome of all the academic you know qualifications. It is the end point we can say. You do graduation, you do post graduation, you do doctorate and after doctorate you go for postdoctorate fellowship. Now there are there is very less information available on uh, internet on youtube on otherwise other uh, places for post doctorate fellowship and yourpedia is going to explore this particular domain thoroughly this is i tell you this is my first video on youtube about post doctorate fellowship and this video is what is post doctorate fellowship little bit idea will get from here soon you will start getting lot of videos on post doctorate fellowship and i must tell you that uh, there are thousands and lakhs of students in india who put really good effort in their doctorate in phds but they are not aware about the opportunities they have after doctorate tell i tell you honestly on the basis of my own experience when i completed my doctorate i tell you on the basis of my experience there are tremendous opportunities available in india and abroad if you have done your doctorate seriously if you have done your phd seriously if you have done good research work in that you have nothing to worry entire globe is a workplace for you because you know you get highly specialized only thing you need to do you need to find out the right place of your employment right place of your job where you know your this entire research work will be valued that is what this is all about so my this brief uh, video is about post doctorate fellowship what is the meaning of this so let's uh, let's uh, uh, go forward and understand the meaning of this so what is post doctorate uh, first you know it is written as post doc post doc it is not called post doctorate fellowship clearly but it is called post doc and that is what you know in europe global also we are writing post doc so post doc is nothing but it is a temporary position first you need to understand that after phd after phd before you end up in actual job in academics as assistant professor or in industry as consultant before you get your actual job permanent job post doctorate fellowship is a temporary learning whatever you learned in now phd under the guidance of your professor now in different places different labs different universities you are going to work on project so temporary employment on some particular project where you are going to use your knowledge and learn in the process is called post doctorate fellowship you know fellowship is the scholarship so post doc is that particular thing so is this necessary answer is yes it is important if you want to become teacher faculty in top universities globally like in iits or in you know even nits if you want to become really you know faculty good faculty in really good colleges post doctorate fellowship is required kitni post doctorate fellowship you can do i'll discuss that also two to three post docs are more than sufficient what is the duration of one particular post doc not certain but yes two to three years normally students do post doc they earn also they learn also a uh, wide exposure they get and once you have completed post doc you are ready for doing job in you know iits and all because iits want that you should have some experience after phd so now that experience in the form of post doc is very very valuable now so uh, post doc is nothing but it is a next step to phd and there is a reason it is called post doc so before you become assistant professor or consultant in industry post doc is basically transition phase so it is a temporary position uh, you know you do work as a researcher in some project and you are associated with some university or in some industry and normally post docs are uh, so far they were being offered in the domain of stem science technology engineering mathematics domains whenever some pro professor is having some project with him so he would like to have some people who can help him in that project and those people are post docs so now in india also when we visit different iits and all i find many phd students working as post doc working on some project so whenever there is a post doc 
he will be working on some project and project must be handled by professor so professor finds him suitable okay do it so temporary job hai ye temporary hai it is not permanent it is a transition before you finally settle in your job as assistant professor or something and normally it is in universities and it is also in industries india mein bhi abhi culture aana start hua hai there are more and more post docs coming and also this is uh, you know in the field of stems so this is how it is uh, about Yeah, the, and my this video is not about India. This is about international postdoc fellowship. But I will also tell you how much scholarship normally you get in India. Like in PhD, you get thirty to thirty thousand, thirty two thousand, thirty five thousand, something like that per month scholarship. In postdoc, you get somewhere around fifty thousand. So that scholarship, but international scholarship is more, uh, you know, enticing, and that is what we should uh, target for. Now, what does postdoc do? What is he doing? He is doing research. He is working under some. Uh, supervision of some mentor maybe professor in university maybe some particular mentor in industry so he is actually uh, you know working as uh, working as a researcher and he is a junior faculty member also no a uh, post doc is uh, basically nothing but uh, it is to prepare you for becoming junior faculty member before you become assistant professor post doc is uh, basically training for you you can consider yourself equivalent to assistant professor but you are not permanently posted so before you become assistant professor you are post doc what are you to do? you are to supposed to do uh, are you supposed to teach students some places you may teach but largely it is a research it is the work you are doing in, on a project you are helping the professor you are helping him largely those are the activities for you but yes uh, you mentor the students also you guide the students also that is also done that is also the domain so what are the activities mentoring grant writing for some project professor will say okay can you write a grant for the project i want to take a project from industry from government so can you write a uh, you know a, a proposal for that for to get the grant so that is a typical activity of post doc and teaching also so teaching mentoring you know doing project these are the activities of post doc then kitna how long uh, to what uh, length there is no length as we discussed earlier but 2 to 3 years is a normal period you know you can do more than one uh, post doc also before you start applying for the professors post there is no limit on post doc number of years in uh, you know us but uh, in canada sweden there are some limits so yes there are some limits when you apply in iit is also for how long you can be post doc there are some limits depending upon universities and countries but typically plan that 2 to 3 years you will have exposure in 2 to 3 countries 2 to 3 places so that actually prepares you very well for academic career so if you do post doc in different countries and you do post doc for let's say one or one and half year two years at one place one and half two years at another place then you get lot of exposure and lot of learning so that is what the duration is all about how are post doc funded from where the money comes normally uh, post docs you know sometime they are in the they are the employees like i told you in the europe in the europe even phd's are employee in the, in the europe whenever phd positions are declared you are declared uh, you are basically given the salary as employee so all the benefits of the salaries are uh, are provided to you uh, uh, we have uploaded many videos where students have gone to you know countries like Uh, Norway and countries like uh, Germany and countries European countries for PhD and they are getting salaries. So they are salaried employee in PhD. Post doc are salaried employee of that university. We have many you know mentors like Kapil is there, Gurpreet Sodhi is there who are Cranfield University. Me they are doing post doc. So they they are the salaried people of those universities. So it can be like a salary. It can be like a you know grant or stipend or fellowship. or scholarship from the project so professor has got a project now professor is giving money in the form of monthly stipend to the post docs from that particular project so this is how this money is provided to post doc now most important thing is how much money i am going to get it so what money i am going to get it i told you if you do phd in india phd mein you will be getting 30000 to 35000 and uh, you know after mtech you are doing phd 30000 is may not be sufficient for you so after phd now suppose you start getting post doctorate fellowship opportunities in india typically you will get 50000 rupees so you end up saving 30000 rupees monthly not more than that if you are getting 50000 per month in india even if you are living in hostels or something like that you cannot uh, you know save more than 30000 rupees but after so much studies if you are saving 30000 rupees it makes no sense that does not make much sense right 
if uh, a job after BTEC in public sector, government sector is giving you 70, 80,000 rupees, after PhD, if you are getting 50,000, does not make sense to me at least. Yes, abroad or foreign, uh, foreign universities may typically, I am giving you the uh, comparison in US you start getting uh, 48,000 per annum so that means $4,000 per month but then tax is also to be deducted so you end up saving one uh, some particular amount that I'm going to tell you so this is per month uh, US typically US and in the UK if I compare it in pounds so you get 3,000 pound per month you know 35 36 thousand per annum you start getting so 3000 this is the average post doctorate fellowship average but yes tax is to be deducted your expenditure is to be there so on the basis of our experience with our students how much a post doc in foreign university ends up saving so post doc in foreign university end up saving somewhere 1.5 lakh per month so they are sending home 1.5 lakh per month and that is what is the target so i want students who have done their PhD in India to go abroad and earn this much money send back this much of money not to me to their parents obviously so this 1.5 lakh rupees per month they can send they should send and that is what I tell you that after PhD you should start earning and uh, quality of life and exposure is the other thing I'm not asking you to go for this this amount this is not this obviously should come this is the you know uh, this is what you deserve minimum uh, amount of money which you should get it but you should go abroad for exposure so if you've done all entire studies in India itself you should go abroad and get the exposure because that will give you you know tomorrow if you have to do research research is not India specific uh, international journal papers are not India specific you should have idea about different labs what are going on and if you are want to lead a purposeful career in academics and research you should have exposure you should have exposure and you should have you know exposure to different uh, working culture different labs and interaction with the people that is what you should have so that way i strongly advise you to go abroad and start saving this much of money in postdoc which is easy not difficult so hope i have made my entire point clear here so uh, those of you who are phd or they are ending up your phd what is the best time to uh, plan for postdoc is when only one year is left for your phd that is the best time when you can plan it in the next videos i'm going to tell you how to find out postdoctorate fellowship opportunities that again i'm going to tell you and your pedia is going to push it hard now the entire thing of postdoctorate fellowship how it is to be done so all the very best and keep knowing about postdoctorate fellowship on the platform of your pedia education we are going to push it hard thousands and lakhs of students from India we are going to send to top universities top labs research labs so that really good work could be done all the very best thank you